Hey guys, it is June 10th, 2023, and in this video I'm going to uh, teach you how to frame a day trading uh, financial day narrative. Now, I want to be clear about something. Uh, this is for day trading purposes only. This is for trading uh, and trying to profit off of intraday volatility. So what do I mean by that? If you are trading a swing trading or a position trading strategy of some kind where you are holding things for more than one day, uh, this is probably not the video for you. Um, this is going to be a pure day trading setup. So I want to give credit to ICT for helping me learn how to frame the uh, financial day. Um, but we'll get right into it. So this, the chart that we have in front of us here is the S&P 500 futures for the September contract delivery month. And I've gone on my trading view and I've marked out Friday and I want to um, basically teach you how do you frame your new financial day. So we'll go from left to right and I'll teach you all of, all of the times that I have marked on the left. So this is, uh, this is trading view and um, all right, we'll start from the left. So on Thursday, uh, our, our electronic trading hours will open up at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That time all the way up until the Frankfurt Stock Exchange opens <clears throat> is what we call a no trade zone. This is a uh, the period from resettlement up until Frankfurt open. We no trade. No, no trade. I know you think you trade, but you no trade. No trade. So. We do not enter orders in the market until after the Frankfurt Open. So from resettlement to 6, 6 uh, p.m. the prior day up until Frankfurt opens, we no trade. So that's a no trade, no trade zone for any product. I won't even trade the I won't even trade the Nikkei futures anymore uh, during this time. This is just this is an illiquid time in the market when no stock exchanges are open. And you, uh, I mean, if you do trade it, good luck to you. For me, this is a new trade zone. So our new financial day opens up at midnight New York local time. So there are stock exchanges in Asia that are open prior to this. So there's the Tokyo Stock Exchange, Shanghai, uh, Sydney, Wellington. Th those stock exchanges are just don't have a large enough of an impact. Uh, they're not liquid enough. And... The, the price is just going to do wonky things. Or let me put it this way. It's, it's not going to be very fun to trade, usually. The first stock exchange of any sort of size that opens up during the financial day, after our new financial... Now, so let me say this. Why do I put New York Midnight Local Time? Well, first off, because ICT says so. But second off, that's, that's what the algorithm does. The algorithm works off of New York Time. <clears throat> Obviously, that's where the New York Stock Exchange is. Even though the futures the futures market is based out of Chicago, they're not the algorithm is not working off of Central Time. It's working off of Eastern Time, or, or New York Time. Um, so our new financial day does not open up at Wellington. It opens up at New York. So that's uh, you have to imagine. And I actually contacted TradingView support about this, and I asked him if I could do a custom daily candle. And they said they're working on it, so no promises there, but we might be able to get a custom daily candle that actually uses this as the starting point. We'll see. But for now, if you're day trading and you need to know basically when your new financial day opens, it opens up at uh, midnight New York time. So what I like to do is when the day starts, I like to take that price at New York midnight and put a line on the chart and that will tell me what the New York price opened up at midnight. But for now, I think that's going to distract the video, so I'll leave it off. But when I'm trading, I like to have that on there. Okay, so our trading begins at the Frankfurt Stock Exchange open. So after Frankfurt is open, we start to look to put limit orders in the market. And that's going to prepare ourselves for the next key time of the day, which is the London Stock Exchange market. So here, we see that there was a potential opportunity on the London Open at the consequent encroachment of this wick to the left. I think I've been over that in another video. So 
at 2, 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's when we can start trading for our, our day trading session. Um, that's when the Frankfurt Stock Exchange opens. The next key time is the London Stock Exchange open. Now, London is usually going to make the higher or the low of the day if we're going to have a trading day. And usually the London session, um, it's very directional. So this is a good time to look to get in your really excellent entries for the day. The next time of the day that we look at as a time of a time of interest is 8.30 New York time, which is when the news embargo leaves, lifts. Now remember, we don't believe in news. We just believe that news is used as a smokescreen uh, to, re, to, to reprice things where the algorithm already wanted to take it. So basically, these times are when we expect expansions in gamma, to, to put it technically. So we expect volatility or gamma to pick up at these times. So the next one is going to be 8.30, with this, which is our news embargo lift. After that, uh, equities open at 9.30. We expect there to be a pickup in gamma. And then moving on from there, we have our AM session that goes from uh, equities open up until lunch. Now, the London Stock Exchange actually closes uh, at 10, uh, excuse, it opens up at, at uh, 11.30. It closes at 11.30 um, New York time. For me, it would be 10.30. But anyways, London that opened up back here, it trades, uh, I think, eight hours in a day. So it will actually end up closing in the New York AM session. The next time of interest is going to be New York lunch, which is 12 to 1. Now, during that time, we're expecting some sort of a, a retracement or a run on stops. So that's what we're expecting do, during New York lunch. The next time in our, in our uh, day trading session that we're looking for is 1330, which is our acceleration macro. So basically, we expect that around 1330 or 1.30 uh, New York time, we are expecting that the market is going to pick up speed to do whatever it wants to do in the PM session. So it's going to accelerate to its final destination. The last bit of time that we're looking for is going to be the market on close algorithm. And that's when we expect the market's going to make one more push for liquidity before ending, before ending the trading day. And that's kind of the last period of time that we're looking for. So as we can see, that happened beautifully here. We ended up running down for these sell stops, and then uh, we ended up re resettling right around there. So these are all the times that you want to be aware of during your day trading session. Remember, we do not trade from resettlement to Frankfurt. So for your day trading purposes, we do not trade during resettlement to Frankfurt. We want to look at the Frankfurt Stock Exchange open as a time of interest, London Stock Exchange open as a time of interest. One hour before equities open, which is the news embargo lift, that's a time of interest every day, especially on really important economic releases. Then we have equities open at 9.30, it's a time of interest. Lunch is a time of interest. Now, there is an hour in here that's the when the London Stock Exchange closes in the AM session that is another time of interest, but I didn't, I didn't mark it on the chart. Um, it's not critical, but basically the London Stock Exchange closes in here um, and you expect some profits to be taken during that time. It's profit taking hour, quote unquote. And then we have New York lunch in which we expect some sort of stop run to happen. 1330s are acceleration macro where the PM session is going to pick up speed. And then we have our market on close algorithm, which is going to do one, probably one last final stop run before we end the day. So. New financial day at midnight, Frankfurt, London, news embargo, equities open, lunch, acceleration macro, and then market on close and market on close end. Those are all of our, our day trading times of interest. Um, you can go learn more about what to expect in terms of market behavior if you go watch ICT's videos. But um, if you wanted to get a good template for your day trading session, here it is. And remember, your new financial day does not open with Wellington, it opens with New York. So you might want to screenshot this video in order to uh, frame out important times for yourself. Other than that, have a good one.